Jose Le Perez has been transferred to a local hospital for further examination, we are being told. Ruben Vogt running four wide for the transfer spot with Andrew Tamarzan, Ian Bolgholm, and Caleb Williams. Oh, big crash! Ruben Vogt just pushed up into Tamarzan, and he takes half the field with him! And there's more cars piling in! All I have to say to this is... Wow. A, a quarter of the field just got taken out by a car that just wasn't paying attention. He just drifted up the track, and... A, a stupid move by Ruben Vogt, that's all I can really say. Sam Smith brings the field to the line. It looks like a lot of the drivers have already gotten out of their cars, which is a great sign considering how massive that accident was. Riding on board with Gaspar D'Souza here, and he actually, he barrel rolls multiple times and we lose the camera, but somehow he drives the car away. He took the car straight to the garage though, so he's done for the day, needless to say. This is an experimental rear camera on the 11 car, which is a teammate to the 21. And you can see how Ruben Vogt just pushes to the right into Tamar's end. There's just no excuse for that kind of driving. Gary Robinson pulls an amazing piece of driving getting through this accident. He does the right thing and slows down, and shows that he's definitely a veteran of the sport. Another driver who was collected was John Bracci, who I honestly thought he was going to make the race. He, p he was putting on an excellent performance, and he just gets clipped and hits the wall pretty badly. He He's continuing on though, so the damage doesn't look too bad. But he's really going to have to work if he wants to make the race. And our last view is from the 41 car from Johnson Racing of Greg Maddox. And Maddox is actually rumored to uh, be getting kicked out of this ride pretty soon. And he just he just doesn't slow down. He piles into the accident following Dana Jerpak, and that just ends his day right there.